Welcome to the OSRs Podcast, where we talk about RuneScape-related things with RuneScape-related content creators. I am Mid-Man Cow, one of your hosts, followed by... What's going on, boys? Rexy as always. Hey, wait, I'm Rexy. <laughs> Min, Min, you... <laughs> oh, no, I'm already scuffed. God damn it. <laughs> no, no, and Vice Cup. I was just saying. <laughs> I'm Rexy. <laughs> <laughs> well guys are you ready to talk about twisted league the new esports of runescape yeah, yeah man. sure fuck oh, man the views are <laughs> crazy i know you're you guys were I, so more energetic before rakesy yeah. was singing and shit now it's dude i just i i don't have much to say because i haven't played it like, i'm the only one here that hasn't played it so oh, I, i'm asked. not in i'm not very hyped to say the least ask us the questions then okay so i think the question i've been asking myself every day since this came out is what's the point what'd you get oh. You know yeah. how many people ask me that? But this is the thing, man. What's the point in playing a regular Iron Man? What the, what's the point of your series when I can go and just stake 500 mil really quick? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's no, it was, it's just fun, fun bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah. for me, it's more to do with, like, what's what's the end game here? Uh, what do you, yeah. what, what, what's the goal at the end of Twisted Leagues? What, what, are, you, what are you aiming for? Cloud, uh, and okay. for, for me, I just can't figure it out. It's like, you can do raids. I guess you could try to get all the raid pieces, maybe. Yeah, could be fun, That's, but then they all get wiped at the end of the. Uh, is it three months or two months? Two yeah. months. So the the most formal thing that people do is for the the ranks, right? For like the uh, the tier ranks. I, I know Mint's going for Dragon, which is top one percent of the a maxim, game mode. baby, a maxim. But like Dr Dragon. Like, yeah, so that's like the top one percent, right? But like. Think about it this way. It's just a skilling PVM game mode where there's certain tasks that you have to do. There's di different difficulties of tasks. So depending on the tasks that you do, you get a certain amount of points, right? So so whoever at the end of the two months accumulates the most amount of points via the task will be the person that wins, you know, number one, right? But there's also ranks. So like you're, if you're, I think there was 67,000 people that counted, but by the end of two months, there might be more. But like, let's say you're top 1%, which is Dragon, you'll be like, the top 600 with the highest points that means you get the rank uh for it which in the if you play again in the next league you keep the rank so that people know you know the, who you are and you can also access some ranked worlds for for the future competition so you get you have i like wish a, you could access better, ranked exactly. worlds in the regular game just for like a limited time that'd be so cool yeah. oh. so if uh, if i'm getting this right it's effectively you play the game to gain ranks in, in the next season type, yeah in that type of game mode yeah. yeah like league of legends okay well it's not like league of legends though, league exactly of legends, like, yeah. league dude of league, Leg of league of legends is like you know you're one-on-one -on -one, you're basically out playing and out maneuvering like who you're fighting you're not fighting shit in that game mode man you're killing I'm shit like most giants people like swords right. i don't know for, for me i to be honest with you the main reason i didn't do it and haven't started playing it is simply for that reason um i don't think i'd enjoy it to be yeah, fair, yeah, I I enjoyed it. I didn't think I was gonna play it because you know the because like, uh, people are also playing for the cosmetic rewards. One of them was ancestral recolor. That looked it. really good. See, I love that. And in the post, yeah. that that caught my attention. I was like, oh, this could be something worth doing. But then yeah. that didn't even pass, did it? Yeah, so it's just like, I, it didn't pass. So I was like, what, oh, I'm not playing. What do we yeah. get? Like another Halo as a reward or some <laughs> shit? Uh, <laughs> like rune Halo. Well, I'm not grinding like a... two months for a Halo, man. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah, cosmetic wise, there's still the horn. Uh, the I heard there's an the, outfit set, hand. right? There's like yeah, a whole outfit set. set. Yeah, the PhD think, color. I mean, I have look the league home telly. I have watched a lot of Twisted League videos, surprisingly more than I usually would RuneScape related. And now, you and know. I've been in, I've been in a lot of streams, and people have been saying like, "This has brought me back to RuneScape and whatnot." Like, I haven't played since Dead Man mode, but I think people are soon going to get bored of it. I don't know. Yeah. That's just my opinion. I, I mean, if the next season is in Zaya again, that shit's dead. You know? Yeah, then no, I, dude, I hope it is. I hope it is, man. I hope I they mix up the to, relics, man. bro. I, I, I'd be so yeah. down. This shit is so, dope. Uh, shit, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, like, I, I wasn't even going to play, but, like, um, I was awake, you know, around the time that release came out, and I watched, like, Wooks and some other people stream it. And, and me and my buddy were just on Discord talking about, like, the battle plan, you know? Like, how would people go about doing this and that? And, and it, it was like, damn, this actually sounds fucking exciting. Like, I got to get on, you know? And then I just logged in and maybe, you know, started it myself. But, yeah, like, I got hooked really fast, personally. But, 
But I think it's because it was skilling in PVM, goal orientated though. That's probably why. Because like it fits me, obviously. Very that's well. that's your shit, right? Yeah, I was like, damn, I do this all the time. Except, except it's like completely different area, and and the yeah. rules are not the same. So it's cool. it's basically a dead man mode, which is targeted towards Iron Man, pretty much. Yeah. It's like the equivalent yeah, of dead man mode for Iron Man, kinda. Yeah. Rexy, yeah, I played yeah. every Iron Man mode, and I swear to God, this shit right here is so addicting because it's RuneScape, but it's a different build. I'm going to refer yeah. to our League of Legends again. Not that it is League, but you know how every year the meta changes, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is it, man. The meta has fucking changed. With the relics, there's new game plans, there's new ways. People are going without endurance, which is to run, and they're higher ranked than me. Like, I don't know how the fuck they thought of it, but they're insanely built well. And you go into a town and it's full of noobs with little kite shields and helmets talking oh, shit. So and you're mining iron next to some guy you just started playing again. You're getting that RuneScape feeling again. And it feels amazing. The reason yeah. I'm playing, I, I, though, I, I, yeah, for sure. Not, the not, atmosphere is great. Not to shit on that, but that will die out very fast. Right. Yeah. Um, Deadman Mode's yeah. died way... It's like, what, two days and it dies out lately? This exactly. And that week. was something that that was exactly that speaks for itself. If Dead Man Mode died out in two days where you're constantly on edge and someone can come and take you through your bank at any second, a game mode where that doesn't even exist, how that's lasted longer than a week, I don't know. But well, I mean so... I guess I guess people like it and it's good for the game. And plus, yeah. you know, for people that haven't been to Zaya, such as myself. It would be quite beneficial because obviously you learn a lot and that uh, yeah. transfer over to the main and, game. And that's so. what partly makes it so fun. Like you know, the relics are amazing because like it changes gameplay like massively. But also because the only thing I know about Zaya really is raids and the catacombs because that's like the only two content I really you know do a little bit of farming guild. But like there's so much shit in in the in Zaya actually that every day I'm just like learning about new things I can do. Like recently, I discovered you can buy like some stews in, in the whole city as bar, and you can just buy all that food. I don't even need to fish anymore. That that was like a big ass like problem. Right, there goes the spot, I, man. Room. Yeah, I don't want to spend time. No, don't worry. It's a limited stock, so you're fine. You're good, you. But it is room for everybody. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying it's cool discovering shit. I want to yeah, so... die out eventually, though. It is only two months. That's that's what makes it so good. Is because eventually <clears throat> you you already know when it's gonna end. So so you brace yourself ahead of time. Cause like I already know that if I everything I get, it's gonna be gone. So I'm just keeping my rank, and I'm just like it's the satisfaction. Yeah, you know? I mean I'm just living the moment right now. That's pretty much all it is. I think if yeah. they were to give it more of a competitive feel in terms of ranks, I'd be more inclined to play. But the way that it currently is, I'm simply not interested in it. And that's just me. But like, yeah. um, have they obviously they're gonna do another one because it has been majorly successful. Yes. Have they spoken about where it's gonna be held? Mm. Like. Where is it going to be? We're at? thinking Mortania because the new um, area is going to be added there, so it's a great way to introduce that. But, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking raids too as well. I guess. <clears throat> I think I think the simplest way to go about it is you know just pick another group of land, a uh, group of land that is similar to the size of Zaya. But like people actually don't even realize how big Zaya is. Zaya is literally as big as half of the RuneScape map. So just one little region in in the regular RuneScape is nothing compared to it. So like they're gonna if they're gonna want to focus around Mauritania, they also need like the other cities around it, you know, like the other areas that are like bordering it, because like you need it to be at similar size. I feel like so if yeah, we're gonna talk about future things, like well, future play areas. Since Rakesy doesn't see Zaya as which is great because that's your opinion, but he really likes Devin mode. Let's talk about Zaya first Devin mode. I think that'd be pretty. Pretty uh, great topic there, because I am the only one who does not really appreciate Dead Man Mode anymore. I, I didn't think it was a great game mode after, like, the third season. I thought it was going to flop every time, and it kind of did. Yeah. Oh, dude, don't get me wrong, by the way. I'm not a big fan of Dead Man Mode either. Like, Dead Man Mode, straight up, it was so boring towards the end. It was unbelievably boring. It was the same thing every single time. Um, I'm just saying this is less appealing to me. <laughs> That was, that was like the the mm -hmm. best way to say that. Um, I thought you were for Dead Man. It seems like everyone's missing Dead Man mode lately. But I think a decent the last, amount of people. I think oh. the last season that they did was probably the best one they've done so far. You know, it may have been down to the fact that I was part of the casting team for the final hour. But um, <laughs> no, I genuinely do think <laughs> that the last Dead Man mode tournament 
I, I think it was the smoothest one they've done so far. And I did yeah, see something that Boaty posted on Twitter, which was like, can we just get that once every year? Or something like that. Yeah, and to should. be fair, that I'm why down. not? Yeah, yeah, why not? I'm you know? Sick. I don't know, man. I, I'm I'm not a bit I don't think it's the future right of RuneScape. It just doesn't seem like a very sturdy game mode. It's based off yeah. a shit ton of RNG, stream sniping, and it's <clears throat> clan controlled. You know? Whereas I, in uh, Twisted know. League, you can kind of go your separate way. You can stream it anytime you want, right? It's very streamable. Uh, daily content for two months easily. I mean, you've seen Solo's channel blow up, right? And that's, you know, he, he does uh, Dead Man Mode as well, and he never he never got that big. This is off skilling content, right? I, I know, know, which is crazy. Dude, that literally shouts volumes of what the majority of people nowadays are in RuneScape in terms of are they PVMers, are they PKers, well, are they Well, even if you're a PK, Clearly, right? there's there's a lot there's a lot bigger margin for people that are non PKers, which is just the way it is. Do you know what I mean? But like, to me, that's very surprising. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I was qu quite blown away with the success that Solos had from Twisted Leads. I don't think it's that surprising, man. Because I, I was given this analogy that I'll try to make it. It was a horrible analogy. I'll let's say you really like PKing, right? Let's compare that to something you like as well, drinking. But every time you had a beer, someone came over and slapped the shit out of your face. Would you keep having a beer? Every sip, they just, you know, like that. That's what PKing is. You love it, but someone's going to fucking slap this shit. You're not going to have fun. You know, it's going to be either RNG, gear-based, people are being shitty, worlds are getting DDoS. But it's hard the counter to, like to that is every single time someone comes up to you and slaps you is that you get the balls to turn around and slap them back. Which is effectively dead my mode in a nutshell. It's like if you fight back with PJ timers, etc. Like there were ways around it. Obviously, I'm not saying it was perfect because it was nowhere yeah, no, near perfect. No, they got to really but, champ it. You know, if yeah. someone comes and picks on you, it's like, well, you know, I've always loved the mentality when it comes to the wilderness of dog eat dog. I love that saying. It's dog eat dog. It's like if you don't take something, someone else will. It's simple Crazy. as that. That's why I like PKing too, but that's not what um what I'm saying is not like someone's gonna actually attack you, right? That's the whole point of PKing. I'll tell you, you want to go play LMS? It's full of bots. You want to go play BH? It's fucking dead, and the hot zones don't mean shit. I know. That's, dude, that's why mad. it's a slap in the face. It's not fun. Dead Demo was the same fucking way, dude. I mean, even I Mika mean, was playing like what. 16, 18 hours a day, no sleep, gets DDoS for the tournament. Happened to so many people. It's not a great game mode. The people out there don't make it fun. That's why I think Twisted League is amazing. I'm a PKer, and I'm fucking enjoying the shit out of skilling right now because I don't have to worry about none of this dumb shit, and I can continuously work on gains, uh, progress. I mean, every day, man. <laughs> You're killing I, me, man. Shut dude, the fuck up. Dude. Dude, you <laughs> You're enjoying skilling. I'm enjoying oh, the shit out of it, bro. Man, I'm, gone no, I'm dragging, side, I'm dragging no, you, you tier, a, baby. Yeah, you have a good point, have you, though. Yeah. Have you heard yourself? Yo, man. I'm loving the shit out of this, man. I don't <laughs> give a fuck. I haven't been in the wild in a week, bro. People are crying. They're like, come back to the wilderness. I'm like, it's shit, bro. It's so dead. There's oh, that's actually something quite interesting. Has that impacted, like, your viewership? Because you stream a lot, right? So yeah. has that had an impact, a good one or a bad one? Yeah, but the I'm thing guessing is, the majority um, of people were following because they like PKing content. Well, actually, I, I did Iron Man beforehand, so some of the people are coming back. My sub count's risen, but my viewer count's declined, so that's kind of <laughs> weird. Right? Kinda yeah. like, it's, it's a fair trade. Yeah, it's a pretty fair trade. <laughs> I don't really, I just want to do what I enjoy, and I'm actually putting like 8 yeah. to 10 hours in every day. Because I actually yeah, you know, know it. If you're enjoying it, crack yeah. on. Yeah, no, you you know, gotta, fair enough. As, as a creator, you got to balance it, though, because like, if you focus too much of it as like a job, then it just burns you out. Whereas, like, sometimes you want to just have a little bit of fun, right? As long as it's, like, your viewers are still there, your main ones, right? That's, like, the biggest thing. Your, your core viewers are still there. Yeah, pretty it's, much. It's, I'm just... Yeah. I don't even know why we're talking about my streaming plans right now. Yeah, but yeah, we're about to go kinda, into it. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, no, so, you brought it up about like content creator benefits of the... Well, not even content creators, creators, but I'm just saying, like, it happened to Mika, but it happened to a lot of those high-ranking PKers, right? They definitely got hit off. Like, at least 100-plus yeah, yeah. people. Like most tournaments, like yeah, that. yeah. I mean, but Ree, like did, wait, hold, hold, hold up, Ree. I'm pretty sure I saw you tweet something the other day about you doing like a raid on the world being DDoS offline. Oh, like. so no, that wasn't like it wasn't like specifically Twisted League. It's just something to do with older block because like there's some people that were DDoSing everywhere he was in. Just fucked up. He's and like, like the ninety billion debt. 
Yeah, and I and I swear the the, the people that DDoS decided to just go hit up any random ass world, and I it have you know I was happened to be one of them. So yeah, that that fucking sucked because the servers was like god awful. Like everything just froze, and you can only move one square every like ten seconds. Same with Ohm too. Same were with you Ohm. killing Ohm at the time? Yeah, I was literally at the head phase at the almost at the end. Oh I had man, to, that, I had to let sucks. myself die because I was like I spent like three brews trying to survive like the lag, and and it's just like. Eventually, I would have just ran out because I lag. was I was watching Rice do Ohm on Twisted while I was trying to do tilt farming, which is so click based, and I kept having my shit die because <laughs> it's like two hours of nonstop. If you fuck up, you die at Ohm phase. That shit was wild. Rune battle axe, mage bow. I mean, that that's the hype right there, Rixy. That's the hype right there. That man. was interesting, though. The, yeah, like, the I, I'll concept. admit, dude. I watched. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't seen you do it yet, Rhi. I don't know if you've uploaded the video. I saw Weeks do it live, and it yeah, was yeah, impressive, yeah. but it's one of those things. It's like, once you've seen it, it's like, oh, well, that was cool. Yeah, yeah, because, like, you know the you gimmick. Know I mean? You know the gimmick, bro. You know, like, what, what, what it takes to do it, and, like, how is it replicable and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Just I mean, for, just... like, more casual players or newer players, they're like, well, what the fuck? This is insane. Rune Batarax killing this thing. That's, like, level 1,000. Like, how do you do that? You know, stuff like that. I yeah. feel that. And also, I'm not saying that I wouldn't enjoy it. I'm just saying it's not particularly appealing to me. Yeah, to you. So, like, yeah, yeah. who knows? Like, when they come out with the next one, I might, I might give it a crack, and I might really I like it. Sure. I don't know. But I know just, a lot of people that I feel like you're going to get addicted to it, man. It's one of those modes where it's addicting, oh, it's so addicting once it's so you get addicting. into it. But, like, I'm not here to try to get people to play it because I'm trying to get that dragon rank. I'm just trying to express my own <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah that's yeah, fair yeah. man um so if you guys don't play twisted league that's fine if you want to pk i don't really see the big thing about dead man mode anymore i just think if they're gonna go for a pvp tournament it should be the 1v1 5v5 that was the best shit they did uh, all stars was a little biased but i liked it anyways right a lot of people were like oh why'd they you know it's like whatever but the 1v1 5v5 20v20 and you can hear them on the comms doing the over you know that was amazing yeah that's cool i love that shit that's but yeah, funny. like yeah. you said, what you say about them and being like once a year, I feel like, I feel like that's probably ultimately the way to go because I think why them partly sucked was because people they spammed it so often. They did four yeah. times a year, bro. It's exhausting. it was it was way too much, man. Yeah, it's like thing, dude. It, it it was effectively RuneScape's only significant other game mode, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like take up Jagex, take take a leap out of any other games book when it comes to those kind of modes like if you're talking league of legends overwatch whatever they leave those game modes out for a, a short period of time and then they don't bring them back for a long period well of you're time, talking yeah. about which, smart which, companies you know <laughs> yeah. which, which raise which raises hype to it and unfortunately i think that they just they just kept doing just it because it was so it successful much. the yeah. first time yeah, and they, they kind of just, just it got to the point where they were beating a dead horse. It was yeah. like this is done. I you feel know? like I feel like once a year would be a, would be great because then you can bounce it up with like the league stuff because so like uh, the league is mostly inspired by games like Path of Exile because they do the same thing where they do seasonal like I think it's yeah. for Path of Exile is three months uh, game mode where you know you get different uh, gear stuff, and right? stuff. Yeah, yeah, like different perks that changes the gameplay every time. Yeah, I mean, I played Diablo free seasonal this year. Yeah, right. And it, it was Diablo awesome. It, too. Yeah. it was so good, except for the rewards were appealing because a lot of the stuff that you got, like the ancient legendaries and stuff, you could transfer them to the next one or to your main account. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so it's actually can like pets in the league. The pets you can transfer, the rank you can transfer. To the I wish you could transfer some shit over the main game just instead of the rewards, but I see why they couldn't. Right. But... Yeah. 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 But yeah, I I think it's we create a big uh, a great balance because I don't want the game to be just catered towards one or two group of people, right? There's like three main groups of people. I mean, you know, people can do all three of them, but like three main groups, right? The PKing, the skilling, and the the PVMing, right? I feel like there should be balance, you know. I don't mind. It should. It should definitely. Like if they add one dev mode a year in between the twisted, that'd be sick. <clears throat> but I do feel like before they even add a PvP got, based mode, they should fix PvP fix that shit. <laughs> on the main. Yeah, it's game. so hard to fix griefing and shit than like abusing. That's what it, that's it the problem with the PvP. It's so much abusing. Let's fix LMS, you know? Like that shit yeah, is so every person you fight is a bot. It's not yeah. fun, man. Fix fix that shit first. Like bounty hunter it. would be great, but people like abuse that shit. It's so AIDS. Like what you know what I mean? It's always the greedy ass people that just ruins it, you know what I mean? Well, 
for this one, the new right. bounty hunter, it's almost like it was meant to be abused because no one in their right mind would do any of this shit in a hot spot with an emblem, right? Like butt naked, trying to kill a guy, and you know, yeah. best just roads. reminds you of the seventy six k trick back in the day. People yeah, it was meant to be abused. It almost it sucks, feels like, dude. yeah. It's- it, it sucks because like they don't have a way to balance out like actual PKing and like people just abusing it for money making, you know. I've been but talking to a lot of awesome. people and everyone says they should just revert it. They should just go back to the old one. Like I was saying at the yeah. beginning, yeah, you know, maybe they have something here, but after after I see yeah. what it, you know and actually played it, yeah, just just stop. <laughs> what was what it, was, it what so was wrong with it? Because I didn't you play the done new bounty hunter. No, I haven't done it. No, no. no? Okay. Um. Well. Let's see. Uh, the point what was, like, the big is confusing. Floor? The hot spots aren't really so. There's going to be random hot spots in the wilderness, and uh, yeah. you know it's going to drag people out. And it sounds like a good idea until you realize if you don't fight your target in a hot spot with an emblem, you don't really get anything. And then you realize you're not going to find your target in the hot spot most times. You're going to get ragged out. Or attacked by someone else, and your target's going to be yeah. somewhere in the wild. You're never going to... It's a very rare chance you're going to find someone that's your target there. So what if they get got rid of that target, and then it's just... If you're in the hotspot and you're killing people... You That'd be amazing. Work. But it they was, would, they yeah, were afraid that's of... What they had, that I'm pretty sure that's what they had, and then they realized the No, uh, the no, they didn't have that in the beginning. Were they making a shit ton of money? No, they were they were still boosting. No, they never had that, sadly. Um, I, They were afraid they'd boost, but they boost anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So I feel like if they get rid of it and then just lower the overall reward per kill, I think that would be better because that way you can actually get fights as often as you want. Right? Yeah. And you have that incentive of a better... Like, let's say they boosted the reward to 50% more or something, right? Like, instead of, like, whatever they did. What, what did they do? Like, three ta- three times? I feel like three um, times is straight farmable, you know what I mean? Well, like, another thing, like, because yeah. Rexy asked me what was wrong. So when you go to BH and you teleport to somebody to get that kill... It feels really good, right? Well, you have to have an emblem on, and then you have to uh, do your bounty while you're killing it, and then you kind of get some points, like a bit of points, but not a ton. If you don't do your bounty, you get shit for points, right? I think it was four or three, and you could be in like a kill streak of ten targets, which is hard to do. I I was doing ten kill streak, five points, maybe. No, I actually didn't even go up. There, there's no kill streak bonus unless you do your bounty, and your bounty is going to be like range based, uh, armor off, you know, no protect item. Some of the shit's dumb. Some of it's doable, but you, a lot of it's just dumb as shit, right? It doesn't feel challenging. It feels ridiculous. I don't know. It's it's complicated. It's confusing. It doesn't feel rewarding. That's what I'd say about the BH. Okay. I mean, yeah. I, I don't really know. We've spoken so much about fixing PvP, but I, I think we can all agree that there's not much to fix, to be honest. I, I just think that people have grown out of it. Same kind of thing as like Deadman mode and how that kind of died out after a while because it was just the same thing every single time. I mean, like we were saying before we started the podcast, Re, really, like if there was an ELO system that was exciting and you yep. actually got like something, it doesn't even have to be like something that's um monetary like it's not something that makes you money but just something that just a prestigious it, it's rank. prestigious it lets people know do you know what i mean and like i don't know i don't know what they could do but I, we've been saying like an elo system yeah tier that, one, could, that could make it fun but we might be wrong dragon, that might be as dead as bounty hunter yeah dragon knows? rank pvp guy <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, the thing yeah. is, there's still people using cheat clients, and then, I don't know, man. It's like you hit a skill cap to where uh, your fight's going to be dictated by RNG most times, right? Um, I don't know, mate. I don't know. Or, or they'll just go AGSG mall anytime you don't know, melee per on one tick you. I mean, that's just a new current PvP meta right now, is that if you don't have melee per on, they could you kill did. you at any moment, whether you like it or not. You could... Uh, you could bait it or pretend to see it coming but um mm-hmm. if they just rush it really quick and run uh, they always have a chance yeah let's get back to the t- twisted league boys should we yeah we're already yeah, on pvp i, I want to talk about <laughs> twisted league i don't even know i don't even want to yeah, talk yeah. about pvp <laughs> i mean you, you, you know, guys so- tell me what it's been uh, like and what are your goals on twisted league go for it rice uh well <clears throat> so my my goals is still ever-changing because Right now, as of right now, I'm only really planning to play for two weeks, 
because I feel like by that point, I'll probably have done all the super fast pace stuff. And, you know, and then I'll only reach like the slow grinds. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. Because like what's appealing right now to me is like how fast I can make progress. You know what I mean? Like it's so fast. Like you can get so many upgrades done. You can love so many skills so fast. And like improves the account like ridiculous. What what you would normally do in, in a single, you know, like what would take in a, a week, I can get done in a day, right? So it's so exhilarating because you don't you don't get that elsewhere. Yeah. So like hour. right now I'm playing I'm playing for two weeks. I'm trying to you know see if I can get a unique drop at at rates, but I'm I'm like constantly building up the account though, so like I can do you know I can do it better. Because right now like the rates take almost two hours, and like you know if I upgrade more. Uh, throughout the next few days, I can probably get it down to like an hour, right? So that, so like that's the goal. Get get better at the rates. Uh, get better at the rates. Or just get better drops, you know. Yeah. Try to get a few purples, and then maybe if I still want to play, I'll do some. I'll try to do a challenge mode, but I think that'd that's be really, insane. That that'll be really where I stop, though. Personally, probably. that would be there. views, though. Let's be real. Yeah, that'd be some views, though. man. I'm not scaling to max or anything. You know, that's that's. I don't know if Mint's doing that. I think you are. Well, Rice, right, so let's just say like the benefits of your Twitch channel right now. How how well um, has your Twitch been doing? Before I mean, in in terms of <clears throat> in terms of viewership, I mean it's it's like crazy, but. You and know, the followers, I, I know, man. You gained like what three, four hundred followers in that one day you were doing raids. I was watching that. Yeah, I was trying to get more people. Yeah. That was like, crazy. Yeah, but like I know it's just hype, though. You know, it's not. Yeah, you know, I mean, a lot of people that follow just the people that are. Uh, uh, well, right. That's it? that's how you grow a base. So it's all based on yeah. hype. That's and then it just mellows it, it, down. It is, Everybody it mellows is. down. Like Bodie's even know, mellowing down at like one k views, and he went back up to five. Yeah, I just know. So. I just I just know that most of them are just gonna move on to the next big thing eventually, anyways. But yeah, well, you know, I'll meet some like newer people that will probably stay. But yeah, for the most part, though, I'm not too worried about the viewer count stuff. I know I know it's growing for sure, which is good. But you know, steady growth is always always best for me, in my opinion. Because like eventually you're gonna hit that crash, and you're just like, oh, you know, like you get that feeling, right? Some yeah, people but, don't hit I a mean, crash. I mean, look at what Ice Poseidon, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that guy didn't hit a crash until maybe like this year and yeah. then just kept going yeah so. but ice besides a little special you know no we're all dude it's everybody <laughs> man you gotta have some faith in yourself bro you Not were pulling like, those viewers buddy you can do it yeah yeah but like it's like i don't really care you know about that number bro, those let's numbers, be real man you, know? you were probably really pumping don't. when you were hitting two k views look Ray, i mean we i was know happy that you... i was happy but it's like yeah it's like, you've, got real a white, happy. you've got a whiteboard above your bed that you put the highest view count on every night just, like, stop <laughs> kidding yourself yeah. dude you're like 436 <laughs> but I don't know. It, it like, comes with the pros and cons, man. Because you get you get a lot of toxic ass people. More than <laughs> those were some right? toxic ass people. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, so it's like, ah, uh, yeah. Because like you bring in those people, but then a lot of them are also just toxic fucks. So you're those, like, I yeah. felt like those were PKers, man. They didn't know what they were talking about. For they were just talking mad shit when they came in. Yeah. That yeah. Was, so it's that like, man, I like, yo, I I don't mind like losing half of the viewers and getting rid of all the toxic boys. You know, I'm chilling, dude. Like. Cause like I'm just trying to have a good time too, right? Like I want, I just want to chill with the boys, and chat. Yeah. Right. So here's my question: like yeah. in terms of twisted leagues, end game PVM content, obviously raids one, right? Yes. I much. mean, as, aside from that, like what's there to do? Hydra. Like once you get the stats and gear, I guess yeah, you could do Hydra. But then what do you do with the uh, stuff okay. you get from so Hydra? There are, there are tasks that where if you if you can complete the raid under a certain amount of time, you get points for it. Yeah. So that's kind of like the idea because like you're competing for points, right? And and you can do it in so many ways. You can do it by uh, killing a boss, killing some monsters, completing PVM challenges for the points, or you can be that guy that does like all the maxing, all the skilling. You know, get the 50 mil XP uh, task done, get the 100 mil XP task. So like that's it's just kind of like the strat is how you go about it. If you want you know, to go for PVM based, I mean, a lot of those best in slot items take a <laughs> while, like Dragon Warhammer, right? Oh, All yeah. the Hydra drops, um, Dragon still Hosta. Still 1 in 5k. Yeah, yeah still right? 1 in 5k. That's, that's going to take you at least a good month to try to even grind yeah. out if you're just going Maybe hard at it, right? And then you yeah, got raids yeah. on top of that. It just seems like there's stuff to do to fill in yeah, that yeah. time, even if you just feel like there's not. Yeah, Depending remember, it's back. only two months, so... You literally cannot complete all the tasks in two months. You have to kind of, 
you know, make decisions because you're going to have to forfeit some stuff because like there's no way you can complete all the PVM challenges and also all the skill challenges. It's and, not even possible. Dude, and the master clues are kind of challenging. I mean, those wizards pop up and they were beating my ass. They can hit 30s. Holy shit. I'm over here in Forun and stuff trying to uh -huh. those wizard boys. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Those, those Unless are you trap them, yeah, they're pretty. You're pretty much boned. Dude, I got fucked up. <clears throat> oh man. But yeah, so it's only two months, so you're gonna be really busy if if you are actually competing for uh, the ranks. You will be literally doing this for two months straight because, yeah, there's just enough content for honestly probably half a year or a year of no lifing. So. But yeah, you can only get to do two months of that, though. So, so okay, yeah. right. For so me, I'm not even competing. What are you what are you competing for, man? You're just trying to get the top one percent, right? Maintain. Well, it. I, I I was going for dragon tier, right, when I was starting, yeah. and yeah. Uh, I I hit it now, and I was like, that's not that bad because I haven't even started my plan yet. So now I want to go for top hundred, and in this week, oh, I learned shit. how to one tick fish. Uh, you know, top, or sorry, three tick or whatever bro, it's called. The top point two percent, easy. And then mm -hmm. um, I learned how to do the fishing, the mining. I do the prayer thing where it's unlimited prayer now. I know how to do that. Like in just a week, I've learned all these tips uh, I've never done in my <laughs> life, man. Oh, uh, okay. This shit, bro. Uh, I learned this how? shit. How? Week. How do you not know how to pray flick, man? <laughs> no, the little how? clicky thing. The little clicky thing where you keep it up forever. Oh, the one yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I didn't know how to do that shit. What do you mean? Oh, God. You knew how to do it. Oh, you all got to do that in PK. Have you ever did that right, shit in PK, man? I, have you... I totally understand now why yeah. you enjoy Twisted League because I get it. Okay. Dude, I don't yeah. boss, man. This is dope. I'm loving this. Yeah. I'm fucking <laughs> loving this shit, bro. I'm going to go yeah. watch Sponsor my ass my max, McDonald's. man. Watch. I'm I going mean, for I think clown. it's, it's mm. definitely good that it's so appealing to you guys. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I know Ray C, you would like it in the next league. You if, think if so? You yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. All right, yeah. I'll give it a crack. I'll, I'll try the next one. I just hope that it's not Zay again. Yeah, I, because... I hope it's not. Because, yeah, I do. Because you know. Like... Get it. Fucking love Zay, man. You then again, the main would... area for like the Barack area and shit, like mm -hmm. just in the main game, that'd be pretty sick too. You know, I'd be down for that. I, was, I would hope they would do if they're able to in the future. So I think one of the biggest appeals of the Zaya League is the fact that nobody except maybe like two guys that are like their onlys in the past, really knows a whole lot about Zaya. Like I said, right? I only know about raids, I only know about catacombs. The learning process is so fun because every day I'm just learning so many new things. So I, I, I would like it so that the next league and the future league, they also make sure they prioritize on that type of element where it's like everybody's kind of have to learn new strats and everything. I mean, learning relics and stuff, you know, learning how relics interact with a game is one thing. But but the content itself has to be different. You know what I mean? So I feel like they, they need to modify existing content a whole lot in, in the future ones, right? Because, like, imagine you're, you're playing in a Mauritania-focused league. But the problem is, Settle has already discovered all those interesting things for you. So there's, like, no discovery, right? There's no new discovery. You've already, we've already done all of it. It's already been discovered. Right, I got a question. I got a question about Twisted Leagues. Yeah. So would you say that it's more catered towards skillers? Or PVMers, and to add to that, do you think that if you solely did PVM for those two months, you could get as high a rank as somebody that did skilling? Nah, for those probably months? not. Probably not, dude. Okay. Because I'll tell you, I'll tell you, seventy percent. So like the 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 last relic, right? It's like the the most important ones. All right, because because one of them uh, is you either can choose to reduce your attack speed of any weapon by one tick, or you can uh, gain double XP, 2x on top of whatever else modifier you have on every skill, right? And 70% oh, yeah. of the players chose the 2x XP. Oh, and only about 20, like 9% chose the, the PVM one, right? So, so it's de definitely, as far as people, the majority are concerned, they, they know scaling is the way to go. Well, the yeah. thing is, right now, the melee-based accounts are actually in the, in the top percent because when you do uh, melee based you hit a bunch of milestones to get that hp up every slayer task yeah, is a uh, bonus points top um, ranks though they're they don't do combat though the top ranks are all skilling yeah i think if they brought the next one out and there was like a whole section of it which was devoted to pvm i'd probably be quite i'd be intrigued i'd probably check it out to be honest with yeah. you like for me personally the fact that it's 
primarily skilling based. Uh, it's I don't know. about don't as unappealing as it gets for me. I don't well, think like it is primarily. Ranks, I think it's I, I half and half in my opinion though. Just I think it's like 60 40, 70 30 because like just you can tell by the high scores like the the if top you watch Mika's videos and even Solo. I mean Solo barely does skilling. He does clue scroll based PVM. Uh, yes, Mika's got are a, also a maxed account right now, pretty much with a rune skimmy, yeah. and he's just doing PVM. <laughs> and he just slapping shit up. Uh, every yeah, task. I think we're talking about competitively, though. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, just talking straight. I straight do. I feel like people who base their accounts around melee are doing incredibly well right now because of the brimstone drops, etc. They will have the skill, but if you start out strong with the melee base, you get a lot of those points early on. Those are probably some of the first people who hit tier five, right? Just because of all the Slayer tasks they have to do, and then you got the Slayer perk that picks your farming contracts, and you get points there. Uh, I feel like it's a pretty strong fucking build. So basically, wow, regardless of what you start as, the end game stuff. is skilling. If you want to get ranks yeah, at all, like you were saying, saying yeah. you, you want to be in the top 100 people, man. Like, Ree, you bet your ass you're going to have to spend a month. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to, because I, I've already kind of forfeited it. I don't have... Oh, no, no, no. I, I said Mint. Oh, Mint, yeah. Mint, Mint, was talking about Mint has a chance because he has... Dude, wisdom. I ain't PVM and barely. I'd be scaling the whole time. You already know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> AFK and Rock Grabs, I ain't got that time. I yeah, no, so, yeah, you have to do a fuck ton of scaling is what I think Rakesy's trying to say. Oh, or yeah, but Rakesy... Oh, yeah, that's true. I guess if you want to go for rank, but... Yeah, you have to do so much scaling. Just for them... I don't know, man. That the like, PVM the scalers, and scaling though does seem PVM. half and half. I, I I will say it does feel like it's or at least forty well, sixty, like Rice said. So so um like eventually those guys in the top ten they're gonna do PVM as well because there's so many points there too, right? It's just that the overall focus for them is gonna be mostly scaling because there's more scaling milestones than there are PVM milestones for points for sure. So that's why they're hitting that up so hard. I'm it's because thinking... it's just a, a matter of numbers. You know, it's just a numbers game. Most of yeah, them right. probably just know how to skill, though, right? Instead of actually going for slight. Some of them are probably really good, but... Um... Yeah, but, like, I'm looking at the task list, and majority of the of the points come from skilling rather than PVM. There's not... There's more skilling content than there is PVM content, for sure. Oh, well, definitely. Uh, even but... though PVM is more hype. Yeah, you know I mean, PVM is definitely more hype, but in terms of winning this thing, points-wise... You're gonna have to tackle the numbers, right? The number, yeah. the number of skilling tasks is <clears throat> ridiculous. I like the What's best. What's the XP rates? Times Sorry to cut you off. Times five. Times five. Okay. Base is times five, but depending on your relic builds, you can get certain skills up to twenty x. Damn, fishing. Yeah. Yeah. Anything, any of them can you be. You can 20X. build like you can build whatever skills you hate to train times twenty and get them over ninety nine. Well, about can you do it for Slayer? Anything. No. Any skill. Not Slayer. You can only get that times ten. I'm pretty sure with Slayer you can because you, if you do Way of the Warrior you get uh you get ten x you get five uh you get ten x because it's two times five, and then you get Wisdom that's ten times two. Wait, so I didn't think I'm, I don't think Slayer is included in the Way of the Warrior, is it? Um, I think it is because I'm pretty sure I get ten x. Can you check real uh, quick? Uh, no, I maybe I get five x. Yeah, never mind. I think Slayer's ten. I don't think they'd but, want to double that Slayer experience. But then much. everything, yeah, most skills can be twenty x. I'm pretty sure. So, what's the best one-handed weapon for doing combat? Is it the dragon sword? Oh, it'd be the whip, wouldn't it? Of course, the whip. Yeah, it'd be the whip. Yeah, you can get. You can also get the lance as well, but that's really. Or when Rice goes back to raid, slap that elder maul. He'll just be yeah. taking out hill giants from the elder maul in full rune. Unfortunately, oh, elder maul is still pretty bad because Dude, uh, it goes thing from would six destroy, ticks. Destroy, wouldn't it? It goes from six ticks to five ticks, which is still really slow. So. Yeah, it's only like a 20% extra DPS, whereas like an MSB gets like 30% and like uh, fucking right. knives. Get if you 100%. get an Elder Man, you gotta test XP rates, man. That would be an amazing I video. Sure. And then, you know, plug. Sure, man. Right? I might as well fuck with it. You know? <laughs> but uh, that'd be, I'm so yeah. keen to see someone with Elder Maul run around. Oh, mm -hmm. that'd be sick. It would be pretty dope. I don't know. I, I think I could probably get into it. I mean, I've got oh, yeah, 99 fishing on the main game on my bloody hardcore before Crazy, I even it's start not playing. too late to start personal i mean i wouldn't i'm not trying to get you into it right yeah, i don't know why I mean, but it just feels like the more you hate it the more i want to push you towards I, it you know, dude, I, don't know I, I, I don't i don't hate it but i know for a fact it's too late like if i played yeah, it yeah. if i played it now there's no way i'd catch up with other content dude, you could easily so catch up like, Mika. <laughs> is he is he slacking no no i think you can catch mm. up to Mika. 
I think he got a good chance. But he gets doing some weird shit. I think he's gonna start unraveling his uh his uh sweet plan soon. But for now, I think you could probably catch up. I believe that motherfucker ain't got any plans, man. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> or at least AFK and rock crabs for like free videos. I, I don't Dude. think he's got a master plan up. Bodhi, his well, it's because he's doing two accounts. By the way, I love Bodie. By the way, love you, man. But. That man is far behind because he hasn't had time to play. So his whole video is him trying to catch up. And every five or three minutes, it's him uh, laughing at someone who's walking. Like, it's, it happened eight times in this progress video. Because people don't choose endurance. So they have to walk everywhere. And he'll just run so around. Toxic. And... <laughs> Amazing. So toxic. It's like half the progress video. <laughs> Fucking great. I, I think the best thing I've seen so far, like the most enjoyable thing for me, was uh, a friend and solo mission opening up clue scroll caskets. Like, yeah, I personally really like those videos. Those videos were awesome. Just because, you know, who doesn't like watching clue scrolls be opened? Right. Uh, and you can go for clue scroll rank as well. Uh, when I was doing AFK Rock Crabs on my phone, I looted like 59 in like a couple hours. And that was just like glancing at my phone. Like, they, and they, they stack as well, don't they? Yeah. The clue scrolls. Yeah. If you have the park, they do. That's pretty cool. Because it's like a specific part. There's Dude, also a good amount of points in the clue scrolls, too. I mean, to be honest, if I was going to play it, I'd probably pull a keepers and do something totally different and just be like, okay, I'm going to spend two months trying to get third age. Just because. <laughs> that would Why be a sick series, not? dude. I would it's subscribe. Probably. <laughs> it's and just, just kill like jellyfish for that. Not jellyfish. Je what are they called? The jelly cube yeah. things? You can kill any Anchors. monster that drops a clue and it gives you a 1 in 10 rate. Yeah, just kill Oh, really? That's why What's it's insane. Relic? That's why, yeah, that that's why sand crabs gave me so many. Oh, that's quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. One in so ten. you choose Fuck. it. You choose yeah, that relic be, and you benefit from it. We're going to be responsible for Rakesy's new series, man. All right? It's happening. It's yeah. too, dude, it's too late. I'm not going to lie. I do kind Rakes, of regret not playing though. it. I, wanna, but... I definitely want to see Rakesy For do Road to Third this. Age, if that's your goal, it's not too late. That could be like the best side series. All right, here. I'll paint it, right? You're playing your other Iron Man. You're doing uh -huh. DKs or whatever. On the side, you're AFK and Rock Crabs. Looting Clue Scrolls, super AFK to get your stats up. And you're in it, right? It'd have to be hard clues. They drop hard clues. You can do hard clues as well. You could Any uh, Any AFK Hellhounds, clues, Jellies, Jellies. We got your slayer Yo, up a bit. You can do elite clues one in ten as well from like Brutal Blacks. Or elite whatever. clues are kind of fucked. You need <laughs> Mystic Bro Bottoms Blue, and that's fucked. Dude. I mean, it's one in ten though. So, what's the fastest way of getting clue scrolls? Because I saw someone's video the other day, and they were getting. I think it was Devious. He was collecting all of his clue scrolls from Night Nine Fishing, or it might be Mika. Would you say uh, that a monster uh, or fishing is the faster way to do it? Monster. But skilling with that perk is that the clue scrolls are chances are increased. They don't it's not 10x though. It's not like one in ten. Let's like, see, let's see. I'm thinking, how could you do this? So you could probably go endurance, obviously, and then you go to uh, pick your own slayer task. So if you wanted to get a clue scroll, you just go, hey, I want this slayer task. So you get some XP for higher monsters in case you want a PVM later. And then you get the clue relic. And then the clue relic. And that's probably like a day and a half grind. And that's just PVM based grind. Yeah. Like Corner's I said. blessing, one tick reduction for the last two. And if he that. wanted to go that far, he doesn't have to. But I'm saying yeah. like PVM based is such a strong build because there's so it's many milestones. <laughs> There's so many because in the beginning, at least, you get all these Slayer task points. Every new Slayer task is a point. Ten times that is more points. Uh, getting items, shit like that, unlocking stuff, HP levels, uh, prayer based. You just get a shit ton of points at the beginning, just PVMing, not even touching a skill. It's fat. Yeah, dude, yeah. So, I... it's super fun. <laughs> it is fat. Uh, it's super fun just because like every time you do something, you're like, whoa, I get more points. Dude, I feel like a guy trying to sell his religion right now. It's like, can I? I mean, dude, I I, listen. Man? It's not that I'm not sold on it. Like I'm just saying, if I were it's to do it, I, I couldn't just play the game how it is. Do you know what yeah, I mean? You go hard. You go so hard. I'd, I'd have I'd have to do something which is different and I enjoy. And I yeah. think like the clue scroll openings, that's pretty badass, I suppose. Like why not? You it could be an like a It could be a video beast. of opening like a thousand hard clue caskets. Imagine yeah. just one video for the entire like in between, the entire two months. <laughs> in between every clue, it'd be a Mimic Cow shout out or OSR's podcast shout out. It'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> now that'd be that'd be sick content, man. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping my progress videos start picking up. If I can get some views on my videos, I, I'm thinking about doing the group Iron Man thing. 
Think oh about yeah, it. bro. That's, if my yeah, if they if they get there, it. yeah, I I think that'd be dope. I'd I'd go hard. Do we have any idea when that's coming out? Other than next year, nope. No, if I do with Rice, though, my plan is to feed him, and then he does all the bosses first, and I get to click <laughs> my bids. So, oh, dude, do you know I'm kind of tempted to do Group Iron Man as well. Like I when it was, I think everyone will. That's yeah. When it was revealed at Runefest, I was like, okay, that sounds pretty sick. I was actually hyped. Like it was the one update that was like that has a lot of potential. Would you guys be down for a podcast Group Iron Man then? Huh. Yeah, um, well, I feel like it, I feel like what's going to end up happening is. If group is really good, like content, then I think you can do different groups, right? You can do like, because like I want to do a group for like some sort of world record attempt, and then like a casual group. That's what I want to do. Like, I want to do the like group a, that gets every kill first, and then like a, a meme group, and then a, a group with like self rules or some stupid shit. You know, like you make your own rules and you you kind of buy. How many accounts are you playing, boy? Fuck, dude. I don't know. We'll I see. Mean, it just depends, right? Dude, if I was to do group R, man, I'd want it to be. We went for you know every single God War dungeon drop and tried oh, yeah, to be the absolutely. first the first uh, oh, group Iron Man team to get that in game yeah, because absolutely. realistically you don't really need much to do all of the bosses like yeah, you just rush it in like two days bro you can probably go and do it you know I mean you'd need you'd need like rune crossbows pretty much at the very least. Yeah, would be nice. I'll be a rune scam, honestly. Here's what I'm thinking, man. All right. Rune scam. You want to kill Bandos and fucking Armadillo oh, with rune skim and Sarodome like you know, rune skimming it? Dude. Yo, Come it's on. with three people, though. You gotta understand. You can go with like three to four people, right? You're not soloing it, dude. If you did three to four people in full Vorax killing Sarah, it's still a pain in the ass. Dude, <laughs> like no, rune no. I mean, you just need one kill, though, right? We just need one kill so we can go as shit Guys. geared as possible. Oh no, 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 no! I'm yeah. talking. I'm Zombies talking every farming. drop from God of oh, I'm not talking kill. Right, yeah, right. yeah. Here, here's I'm my plan. Right. That shit down. Yo, yo, yo. So, group Iron Man, right? We're gonna build up a tier right. list on a notepad of every boss, and then we're gonna find which one to start at, and just keep going until we get everyone done first. Every, even yeah, the wilderness ones, man. The RuneScape ones, uh, DKs. We can clear that up day one, maybe a couple hours. Just have a list to the point where we build our stats to the point where we can boss minimally, and then just every boss, and it'd be like a sick series of first boss. Yeah, on group I mean, everybody man. do like a hundred barrow chests, get an armor set. A hundred, if if four people or five people for that, get a hundred. That's five hundred chests. Dude, you're like God, up you, here. You I'm thinking like, you know, yeah, four around the world first. Kill, fucking dude, fire uh, strike. hundred doesn't take very long, man. <laughs> Bro, that ain't gonna be like, world first, man. <laughs> dude, <laughs> we were trying to get. I set. just think like corporal <laughs> beast would be awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, it would. Yeah, that wanna... would be on the list, you know. The race would just. At least be the first to kill the bosses, and then the at the secondary plan would be the first to get certain drops. You know what I mean? I think that comes first. We'd have to rush them. like protect prayers first, right? Maybe, and then along yeah, the way we get combat stats, mage stats, uh, maybe. Yeah, base I have a good 50s. amount of experience, dude. On that. Lava dragons running it over to the uh, the deep world order. I don't think as a team, the altar is better. I think the altar is probably worse for lava dragon bones, right? Yeah, yeah. How long's the podcast been, by the way? Oh, uh, forty-eight minutes. Okay. Um. Yeah. Can we? Were we were we talking? Have we talked enough about like future? Right. Just having an aneurysm stuff? over here. <laughs> are we talking <laughs> about trying, things? I'm right? Trying to like see if we missed any big points. You know, talking points about um, it. Um. I mean, t well, let's just tell. Well, all right. I can make a. Here's a, here, here's a question for people that are listening to the podcast. Like in the comments, how many of you guys are actually playing? And how many of you guys are not playing? Watching. Like what type myself? of build? What type of build are you going for? How many guys are man? watching, man? Like, fuck, yeah, dude. I, I, I personally yeah, can't too. get enough of these progress videos. I'm eating them up. Like, I haven't. I've I've watched them out of progress videos that I was watching back when RuneScape came out. And Alkin was uploading. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah. I used rank to watch one a shit. lot of those for sure. Yeah. That's how I'm watching videos right now. I can't get enough of RuneScape, and that's all I've been playing for six years. That's fucking weird, man. That is weird. That's like touching yourself for the first time, and six years later, you're like, this is amazing, you know? It doesn't work like that, you know? I'm, I'm having it, the joy. It is pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, yeah. I've been watching YouTube videos since, like, 2007, when YouTube I first know, came out, so... ancient. I'm ancient, dude. Uh, I Rakes, ancient. Rakes, he's watching my videos, yeah, right? Ancient. Oh, yeah. I, I actually do. I actually do watch all of your videos. I'm not gonna lie. I, I like your one-hour Wednesday. Good. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of Twitch, but you know, it's it's kind of like the same shit because I I get to see I just see it live. That's that's. I pop on Twitch when I'm out of vids. 
<laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I do I that as well. Watch Twitch, yeah. Watch a fuck. Oh, dude, I don't know. Man. I don't know why. I prefer watching Twitch more nowadays, but that's because I think I like to talk with the people. But but yeah, it's more, it's interesting. Man. By the way, Rice, when we doing duo raids on Twisted, man, I'm not. Uh, I can whenever. get there. I can get there. Yeah, whenever you get there, sure, I'll I'll do it. I just need herb. Uh, I have like base eighty, so and I yeah. my herbs like times ten, and I have supplies, so I can get there yeah, yeah, yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. So tomorrow. Huh. For real, 78 Whatever. herb, if I grind that shit, I could probably get there tomorrow. <clears throat> Man, I can't use your pots though, but that's that's all right. The thing is, you just need to train your stats more, so you, so then you can actually fight the boss. Yeah, man. I probably got the stats you had when you soloed your first raid at the moment. I'll have some yeah, it's going to be a little, it's gonna be, uh, different. I, I don't even know how, how to go about it properly. We'll see. Me either. I don't know any. <laughs> I mean, bad. see, that, that's the thing for me. Like, when I think of Twisted Leagues, I think it would be pretty cool to get a group together and just smash out raids every single day. But the off putting thing for me at the same time is like you uh -huh. don't get you don't get anything from it. Like, yeah, you can pimp your gear out for two months, but then after that, two months is gone. And for me, that's like a huge turnoff. Personally. I don't know. It's always about the content in the meantime. It's as a content creator, it's just that's kind of what it's been about most of it, right? I'll go out and risk a ton of money because I don't care about money. I care about content. It's the same thing, man. I'll put a ton of time into Twisted League because I like the content I'm making. I'd watch it myself. I want to make that content. That's, that's fair enough. I, yeah. I, I like I, I like money. There has to be some sort of benefit to it for me personally. Dude, you have like, so much RuneScape money, you don't know what to do with it, all right? You don't... You could pay off Oda's debt, all right, you rich. You oh, no, I, dude, I certainly couldn't, man. I can't even <laughs> afford a... Look, I can't afford a Twisted Bow Scythe and Elijah's spiritual at the same time, which is rookie, seeing as how a lot of Iron Men nowadays have a temple back. I'm not rich by any means. I've got, like, decent gear. Let's uh, be real. I, I if you ones. wanted to afford that shit, you just need like a week and maybe a Red Bull. And then you could do that because that's what you do, man. You just grind out those things 24 7. You can get money if you wanted. I probably could. I'll yeah. Lie. yeah, it's not a goal. That's the thing. RuneScape's goals right now don't really appeal to me anymore. Money's not like insanely hard to get. I don't want any weapons. This is yeah. the most goal oriented I've been in a while. That, that's good because I feel like I'm very money oriented, orientated, whereas you've got like an Iron Man kind of orientation. I'd say I think a lot of people do. People don't really care about money anymore. I, I don't know. To. I yeah, don't know. I mean, the more uh, like knowledgeable, the more veteran players. You know, once you get to a point where money is just a matter of GP per hour, it's that's that's it. You're done. You know, mm -hmm. pretty much. Because I mean, like, you, you can know how many hours it takes to get all the gear that you need. And you spend those hours, you're you're done. Once that's done, pretty much. Unless you're going I, for like skill and pets. I, I think like for pets. me, like my philosophy on RuneScape Gold has always been a case, like always, even now for some reason, the more money I have, the more money I can risk in the P PK. Even though I don't PK anymore. Like it's really weird. That's how I, I used to I, think I, about it as well. That you yeah, just risk I, more, right? I, I still have that, but now i kind of just like having the best gear unlocked and like having access to it so then if new updates come out i can just go and do it on my main like Any i really like the thought of that anytime i risk over two mil i get single clan so that that feeling of risking something because i have a big bank is gone now it just i don't want to give it to them i could i, I wouldn't mind losing like a hundred mil to some new but i do not want to give it to some single clan who plays the game like it's a fucking mafia board you know i ruins it for me it really does yeah i don't know it's di it's difficult i i kind of like i i just like collecting stuff i guess in a way i've <laughs> become a bit of a collector at this point dude i really want to get my ellie back it's like 800 mil though it's hey, fucking so up. expensive i bought mine I for 250 holy shit how do like you buy your gear in iron man <laughs> on my main account before yeah, I main account? It. what yeah no. i played when, when old school came out remember Oh, Wait, have you, still, have you still got your main account? Like, how much yeah. is on it? I don't know. It's like a bill, two bill, maybe? What's the info? Huh? Um, <laughs> what do you mean, bro? I, I just don't play on it, but I still got my Ellie. I bought yeah. it when the Twisted Bow came out, and uh, it crashed the price of the Ellie. You need to it's, check that's, how that's much nuts, money man. you have on that account now, because things are rising right now. Things I mean, I'm just going to keep it, bro. I don't care. Like I said, I don't care about money. I don't know, like but just for like, just to know. It's always fun. Oh, yeah. It's probably a few bill. Yeah. It's probably that's a few sweet. Bill. God, man, that's insane. I mean, it's all to count pretty much. Couple bill. Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not like 10 bill, like maybe like two bill, you know? It's not a 
10 bill. It's only two bill, you know? Just a yeah. couple. Pocket change for Rice over what here. What do you mean? I Pocket mean, I, play, change, I played a solid year on that account, all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <son. laughs> Wait, is it a maxed account, Ray? Really? No, nah, it's just max melee. Max oh. was like max combat. Just Yeah, know. yeah. But it's yeah, kind of the same for my main as well. Yeah. I, I'd say that my main account is more or less an alt at this point. I, I don't play it. I, I never play it. I just, like, I play fat checks. But I really enjoy playing this account because it's like building an account. And every time I log in, I look at the stats and I'm just like, Could I'm be starting to become. No, no, no. I start to think I'm starting to become proud of this account. Level 117 is getting up there, man. You see, you're enjoying the, the RuneScape grind again, mate. You know? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm really loving that. I think that's 100%. what a lot of people miss. That's kind of why Devin Mode was the thing, is uh, not because of the PKing aspect, which was a huge part for PKers, but people relived the um, RuneScape that's... experience again in a faster paced way. Yeah, they can reach it. You know, it's actually reachable now. I think RuneScape knows that experience is golden <clears throat> too, because they keep replaying it, right? You always have to build a new account, you start over from scratch. They, they know people love that shit, and they're really trying to capitalize on it. Dude, yeah. that's a really, really interesting point you've just come up with. So, do you think, in the long term of the game, is that detrimental to the main game? Think about it. Uh, if people, if people are bit. getting bored of, like, training an account at the normal rates, and they're just basically coming out with game modes that have, like, five times XP, like, do you not think that's a little bit damaging to the actual game itself? A little bit. Depends uh, how damaged the game is already. It's not, <laughs> I mean, it's if we weren't like... already enjoying the game, and they gave us a fun thing to look forward to it might actually be beneficial i mean yeah, so so the reason yeah. why it's limited time is because they don't obviously want people to be able to just get max capes and keep it that way you know what i mean like if you want the real max cape at the end of the day you still play game for that but like but like, i think that's the good thing about leagues is that it hits a certain demographic of players that you know want to taste test because they know they can't do it in the real game so it's a good opportunity for them to kind of see what's <clears throat> achievable. It's like a gateway drug into the Yeah, it's thing. a gateway drug because also stuff like Ironman, right? A lot of players that started Twist League never had an iron, but like now that they have tasted it, they actually want to make it iron when this is over because it's like, oh, damn, this self sufficiency shit. Man. I need some of I need more of that. That's why I feel like group Ironman is just around the corner. I just, I can yeah. feel it. I know that yeah. I, maybe they're not announcing it because they don't want people. I don't know, man. I don't know. The new E3 lady, she's got some crazy shit going on, man. We'll see what happens. Yeah. yeah she's yeah. got I, I saw. Yeah, she got some crazy shit happening, indeed. I saw a tweet from her a while back, and it was like, uh, I can't remember what it was, but it was something along the lines of, this is the first time I'm realizing that I'm single for a long time or some shit. And I'm just reading it like, man. This is our new esports bitch, man. Swooping Jesus in, boys. No, she she's actually all right. Like I met her at Broomfest. You call this her year. esports bitch, <laughs> dude. You're what? affiliated with Broomfest. Game. What are you dude, doing? Look, I I don't mean it like that, but you know, it's like it's interesting <laughs> to see somebody who's like the esports lady that's gonna be shaping the <laughs> game into some way. sort of esports, right? We're never getting yeah. invited to like, Roomfest yeah, again, bro. It's Dude, she, pow she powdered my face this Roomfest before going onto the stage. Oh, that's nice. And she literally looked at me and said, you smell like mints and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I couldn't sleep the night before and I literally had, I Thanks. swear to God, when I had to go on that stage, I didn't wake up till like one o'clock in the afternoon. I had to go on that stage for like two or something. I got to the main event, went straight to like the VIP bit, which they, they had like a VIP bit this time for uh, content creators. And I was just in there. I had like six or seven fucking coffees. I was literally eating coffees and crisps. And then I had to go on the stage, man. And I was absolutely like, dude, my eyes were fucking twinking. I was like <laughs> shaking. I was like, I was fucked, man. I was all caffeined up, you know? Right, so you, yeah, she you said, look like a guy who smells like coffee and mints. Actually. I'm sure I do. Yeah. I got, I got my mints here. And I've got my coffee cup right next to the mints. I do indeed. Spot on. What a beautiful combination. But yeah, no, she's a nice lady. I just, uh, I hope that she does bring some. What, what do you think that they could do as an esport for Runescape? I don't because think Because she's already mode, said no. that, yeah, she's already said that my mood doesn't fit, which I agree. Um, well, that's uh, more of a seasonal thing. That more of a seasonal they could, thing. They could build up on PvP, but they really got to fix that boat in the main game before they can start even trying to. Right, but let's just say they fixed it. Let's say they fixed PvP, whatever ways. Let's not even talk about it. They just it's good now, right? How could that be something RuneScape could get <clears throat> viewers off of? 
Uh, the 1v1s are sick, 5v5s, maybe even something alternative to that. Uh, maybe um, once they have an ELO rank system, they could host a deadman mode for right. ELO ranks, but it wouldn't Dude, have a multi-zone. Here's a question to add on to that. Do you guys know of any esports that are non-PVP competitive? Are there any? What's, what's, what's that weird MOBA where you gotta like build shit? And then like, fight fights for you. Yeah, but that, yeah, but you still fight like another. You you fight an opponent like you build a base. It's like Warcraft. But that's slightly uh, PVM based, <clears throat> I, I guess. But I the end know. goal is PVP. Like it's like you build a fort that's better than the other fort, and you know the best fort wins. I think um, if you're gonna classify PVP as player versus player, then um, yeah, yeah, I think all of them are about that. But if you kind of think about it, a lot of them are they build it up and then they compete. And that's kind of what Twisted League is, because Wooks was rocking 45k. He built up his Dude, bank, and he got in front of everybody. He it's not, the first raid. Right. I, I'm just... The reason I ask that question is because, yeah, it's like Twisted League is competitive, like, for ranks and whatnot. But at the same time, it's not like a... Compet it's not, like, competitive in terms of PvP, is it? And I, I genuinely can't think of a single esport that is non-PvP. So... In a way, the fact that Jagex have actually hired somebody that is specifically there for esports, it's a bit of a no-brainer that they should be working on something, seeing as how they've literally, you know, they've given a salary to this person to start working on some sort of esport for the game. And I don't think there are any non-PVP esports. So in terms of PVP and PK, and I, I expect there's well, something being worked on. You right know, now. the the basis of an esport is not so they reward skillful players, but the pretty much grow the game itself right the build hype for it half of it and yeah, half of it should be about yeah so twisted league is kind of a brilliant esport in that way where it is building hype i mean the youtube views have probably quadrupled twitch number one category and that's just starting i mean people are gonna daily get into raids now challenge modes um it's gonna be a yeah. two I mean, month long exposure for runescape right yeah now. dude I'm, I'm not denying that it's not good exposure obviously it's great exposure for the game but in terms of esports, well, I'm saying that's what an esport is, though. It it's be. supposed to expose the game. It's they don't they don't just host tournaments to give away money to skillful players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They it's do half, it so they I build mean, high. Should be half. Like the the other the first half is to build the legitimacy of your game, right? To like show that it is a big deal, and you know, as long as there's skill, right? As long as there's a skill in there, and they get to show off their skill, I would I would say that's an esport. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. Listen, listen. I, I've Googled it. <clears throat> Esports are video games which are played in professional competitions, usually fall into a few major genres. The majority of esports titles are fighting games, first person shooters, real time strategy, multiplayer online battle. So, yeah, they're all to do with PvP. Real time Every strategy. One. That's kind of what Twisted is. No, real time strategy is like building a base. And then yeah, your base fights another base. Twisted League is kind of like a more indirect competition because, like, yeah. it's just people racing to a certain thing, you know. Whereas they're not like they have to kill each other. RuneScape's an old ass game, man. So yeah. it's kind of weird think... that it's still going in general, Dude. right? It can't really live up to the hype of today's PvP. I mean, you just got to think in terms of like an actual esports event. Yeah, the there is a, there like, isn't well, an esport event. On that. There's not an esport event that lasts for two months nonstop, that's, that's 24 true. seven. Right? There's not really a tournament where they can. How if they were to turn Twisted Leagues into a two month event, which was an esport, what they could effectively do is like every weekend you have those forty eight hours where you can log in, progress your account, and it's done as a tournament. But aside from that, like it kind of doesn't fall into esports at all. Like, dude, Twisted League will not be an esport. No way. The, yeah, the yeah. best, the best and closest say, but... thing we can get to an eSport in RuneScape, in my opinion, is effectively yeah. if they were to take teams and, you know, just like five teams, like teams of five, right? Compete on some sort of ELO system. Top 10 teams get to fight each other and the team at the very end is the winner. Yeah. And they get, they get yeah. money. That's and like they, a classic yeah. eSport. That'd be sick know, too. Foundation. I'm Basically. down for that. Um, what about the, the environment is like terrain based too, like, you know, Kind of like you specialize in certain aspects. I, I don't know. Because, like, does, does PvP ever utilize areas <clears throat> in a strategic way like that? Not unless right? you're building up. I mean, it doesn't, like, 
That'd be cool. I like I like what yeah. you're saying, and it doesn't necessarily have to be PvP. I don't think, although every esport is PvP, but imagine Twisted Leagues, where it was effectively Twisted Leagues as it is now, but it was done in teams of five, right? So say like I don't know the top, uh, what is it, 250? Wait, no, the top 500 players from Twisted Leagues this season all qualified to get into the next season, and those people had to team up into teams of five. And then it was basically, you know, they were narrowing it down to the top 10 teams, right? And the way that they could actually structure it could be a sense of, like like I said, they get the weekends to be able to log in. And those weekends are highly viewed, right? So it's like you have a strategy, what you're going to do. And the end game and result, like the whole point in doing it is to have some sort of accomplishment at the end, whether it is to be the team with like a full set of ancestral or something like that. It kind of falls apart at this point, but like, you know, the team that makes the most progress. That'd be sick. Uh, be class as the winner. That'd be sick. I don't okay. know about the whole 48 hours. That seems a little stressful, but that's well, pretty, that's well, pretty cool. It doesn't idea. have Maybe to like be a week hours. like demo mode, right? Maybe like a no, week. No, 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 no. It has to be a short period of time. It has to be like probably 48 hours is probably too much, but if it was like over a Saturday and Sunday, say there was like 10 hours on the Saturday that you could compete, 10 hours on the Sunday, then that would probably work. Because they could actually get like footage of the whole thing. Like the whole thing needs to be hyped. The whole thing needs to be viewable. And if it's just like a non-stop going thing for two months, like it's a lot of stuff's just going to be unseen. I'm it's effectively I'm like Big Brother at that point. I'm with you on that because Twisted League, the thing it's missing is what what you're saying is that it's not really broadcastable. It's not com you know somebody can't commentate over. It's a two month long event. When do you know when the hype's going to happen? <clears throat> Where, where's the competition? Right. Yeah. But in other regards, <laughs> though, because I'm always going to, I'm taking this opinion right now, is that I do think it's an esport in the regards that it requires skill. It's um, EHP based, which is a big part of RuneScape right now. I don't know why people like that shit so much, but it's, it's more efficiency per hour over anything. And then when you do all of that, you kind of rise above everyone else and uh, people want to watch that shit. But other than that, it is missing that broadcastable moment. It's like, when do you. How how can you make it to the point where uh, you get people to watch it in, in like a live studio? People comment. It needs over to be. It. it needs to be structured. Yeah. And it needs to be simple, and it needs to be done in a timely fashion where it can be viewed by everybody. That's well, as be, simple as it gets. Yeah. So that's a cool thing because then they could add on to Zaya's Twisted League. So two months of grinding, and then you said the top five hundred, and you got another tournament in like a couple weeks, and that could be that, the, that the more would be thing. fucking. That would be awesome, yeah. Like, they could potentially turn that into an eSport, and it could effectively be like, all right, so the, the final 10 teams are competing, and you get put against each other and it's in brackets of, like, finals, semifinals, etc. And it's like the team that wins goes forward, etc. like that. And it's like every single tournament, there is, like, a round. It's like you're given a goal, and you're given, like, a week to prep for it. I don't know. It could be, like, the first team to get the um, dust from a Chamber of Zurich's challenge uh, mode but then it's all Ten rng hours. based that's the trouble <laughs> nah. but then it, it could be it could be based on like stats for example it could be like all right the whole team needs to have base 50 stats if they wanted to make it into like a skilling esport like that could potentially work it well, could right because now they then have the point see, system teams. they could probably do the point system for this since it's all brand new it'd be new strats right so once you get two months down of knowing where the points are rush that shit and you know a minimum <clears> time span and people whoever has the most points could win I mean, I'm I'm just speaking theoretically. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that Twisted Leagues in any way is structured to be an eSport. I think it's I just think really... Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, go, Twisted man. Leagues is clearly good advertisement for the game. People enjoy it. It's getting people into the game, so it's work. It's basically like a marketing strategy, right? But in terms of it being an eSport, it's not... It's yeah, yeah. It's I don't think it like has to be. I don't think it matters if it's an eSport or not. Because no, it, do, it does. Right? Yeah. I'm just more concerned about an actual esport, like a PvP based, right? But, but like that's I said, something they, else entirely. You just they need even, Elo you system for the PvP. Yeah, they just need I to mean, develop it, and they can do stuff with that. They they already have it, don't they? It's just like they just need to make an Elo system. They could do the same thing for an Elo system. Top 500 players get to pair up with each other, whatever, like however that works. Or you go in as teams of five to begin with. <laughs> like that's such a basic. Yeah, like need to do that. structure for any esport. You know, look at Dota, look at League of Legends, look at Counter Strike. It's like teams of people come together, compete against another team, and eventually yeah. you get the winners. All of the PvP, PV, all need. the PvP esports, though, the that's the main part of their game. 
I don't think yeah. RuneScape's PvP is anywhere near like oh. even the five percent well, well, threshold like the anymore. PvP com- com- uh, community is too small. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's why I think Twisted League is brilliant because they're actually shining upon where the player base is at instead yeah. of where oh, yeah. other people are. It's like they're taking yeah. their own yeah. strength, right? Instead yeah, of definitely. To- I I mean I think that an esport and uh, Twisted League they're very different things. You know, you got one thing on one hand which is like competitive environment. And the other one, which is just like very good for the game because it's going to grow because obviously a big part of the community are into this. But I'm just saying the fact that they've taken on a full time employee as an esports, like that's her job role. I imagine that they're coming up with something to do with PvP. And I know yeah, that yeah, a lot of the time it feels like a little bit, it feels a little bit hopeless when it comes to PvP. It's like, wow, is oh, anything going to be up. done? Yeah, I've, I've exactly. Up. But I have a firm belief that something's being worked on. I feel like yeah. this is I, it. This do. is what they worked on. I think this is it, man. Like it's not. It, it can't be this. This no is it, bro. It. This is it, Dude, man. It won't be. I've I'm telling you, I'm, it, I'm will, sure it won't be. It. We will it see in be. time. We will see in time. I'm telling you though, this is probably what they've been working on. Uh, I mean, what what do you guys think down in the comments? Because. Man. I couldn't disagree with that more, to be completely honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, the think, league, man, I, I think there's an actual PvP thing, though, to be honest. That there is. There has to be. I'm, there has yikes, to be. I don't think so, man. I feel LMS like is it's fucked. just kind of like the compound thing. You know, they got the skill and PvMing thing going on, and then they just need to solidify their PvP. I hope I'm wrong, though. I hope there is some yeah. pvp based content that is super fun and it's going to be an esport i hope and so. not, well the biggest thing is yeah. not abusable <laughs> i gotta let my mate and i'll be two seconds boys yeah i mean uh i mean we pretty much wrapped up to be honest but... that's true yeah we're over about an hour 10 that's probably where we're trying to keep it at right yeah 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 I feel we'll like do we the outro while rakesy's over there letting his <laughs> yeah like we've gotten we've talked about potential uh, future league modes, you know, like uh, I guess the greater extension of what this means to the game, you know. Yeah, I think we nailed that shit, man. Comparisons between PvP and and uh, skilling slash PvM comp- comp- competitiveness stuff like that. We kind of just. Breaks, we about to wrap up, buddy. Yep. Yeah, that sounds that sounds fine, man. We're about yeah, to fuck yeah. some League of Legends up, boys. Oh my yeah. lord. All right, guys. You can uh, enjoy your twisted leagues doing your skilling, and I'm gonna be getting pentakills <laughs> and slaying bitches in the rift. You hear me? On Summoner's Rift. Do we have uh, an outro? I can't remember. Uh, uh, subscribe, really. like the video. If you watched yeah, this yeah, far yeah. and you haven't subscribed, that is concerning. So thanks yeah. for watching. Um, twisted League is the best. Oh, record.